So the next exercise we're going to do is the wide grip pull-up. One of the reasons that I prefer the wide grip is we really want to train our lats. When we're doing climbing, and especially for me since I'm very small, I found that I have to do wide spans to hold and I need to use my lats to pull myself in. Typically we're very strong in the very narrow position because we can engage a lot more of the arm and the bicep in the movement. This is going to really take that out of the equation and just make us focus on the back. Again, this is part of an entire circuit, so we're not going to tap out on lats. And you're going to do uh, wide grip pull-ups in different ways. So first one, I'll show you how to start to train that. If you can't do a pull-up, don't worry. This is the best place to start training those muscles to engage them to get the strength you need to be able to one day do an actual pull-up. No arching of the back and no looking straight up. Just look, kind of let your eyes direct them, the focus upwards. And then you're going to pull this down. You can use a quick motion down with a slow and control up. So looking up, op chest open, elbows bend a little bit forward to really get the lats opening up and then pull down, level and even, and then slow and control up. So let's say that you're still progressing into doing the pull-ups and you've been able to do one, maybe you're trying to do two. This is where resistance bands can be very useful. So you take a resistance band, tie it around the pull-up bar, putting it around my knee, coming up in the wide grip position. So this is a great way to get yourself to teach your body how to pull it up as you get more proficient in doing the reps with resistance and start taking the resistance away. In the circuit that I'm building, I'm having people do between eight and 12. Right now we're just focused on eight. Elbows rotated forward to engage the lats and then really pulling the bar down to your chest more than you pulling yourself up. Again, my thumbs are loose, my fingers are engaged. Now, once you've been able to complete the set without weight and you feel strong, then you want to start to add weight. So here's my medicine ball. If you're a person that can't do a pull-up, this is another great way to help engage the shoulders and teach yourself the movement to start to try to pull your body weight upwards. I'm gonna take two jugs, shoulder width apart. I'm not super concerned about uh, the width, but I don't want the, them to be too narrow. And I'm just gonna hang and I'm gonna go and rotate around my shoulders as though I'm going to pull myself upward, but I'm not actually gonna pull up into a pull-up. That's all you're gonna do. The movement is coming from the back, not from the biceps, there's no pulling. So one of the best exercises for training for climbing is the Frenchie. The Frenchies are really hard because you have to incorporate a pull-up and controlled lowers through the whole uh, exercise. The reason that they're really good is because in climbing we have to learn how to hold our body in a number of different positions. They're not always in the pull-up position, they're not always in a 90 degree position, they're not always at your full extension. Progressing to the Frenchie is very similar to progressing to a pull-up. So we assume at this point that you're at least able to hold your body weight. If you can do one pull-up, then you can be able to do uh, one Frenchie. And when I'm doing Frenchies, I'm not doing them in a wide grip. We've already done a lot of lat training, so now I'm doing a narrow grip, so you're gonna involve more of the shoulders. So here, I'm in a narrow grip. Elbows are gonna be slightly forward. And I'm gonna pull up, and I'm just gonna pause, and I'm gonna control the lower. The next progression is to be able to pick different positions and hold them for a period of time. So I'm gonna pick four positions and I'm gonna hold them for about four to five seconds each. If you're having trouble making a full rep or controlling the lower or being able to pull up uh, more than maybe one time or having trouble getting that one time up, then you can use the resistance band to help take up the weight. If you're feeling super strong and you're, be, you're able to do uh, eight to 12 Frenchies, then you should for sure not hesitate to add some weight. So I'm gonna take my medicine ball and I'm gonna start with that. I prefer to start with the medicine balls when using light weights before putting on a weight belt and adding significant amounts of weight. I like it because it gets the core engaged as well as uh, it uses the whole, you're using the whole body to do the workout.
when they start to get tired, make sure that your elbows are staying slightly inward. Don't let them come out. Okay, and that's the French.